Anybody else with a question? Okay. So we're Not a question, to... Miles, but I just want to thank you from all of us for doing this. It's, Yay, it's absolutely wonderful and really exciting. Thank you. Yeah, great, great job, Miles. Yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's great. Yeah, cool. we can stop now. <laughs> <laughs> My face is turning red. I can even see it. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't we go along uh, screen to screen and just uh, maybe you can share. We'll start with Bjorn. You want to share your intention for the Telesummit? Uh, yes, it's nice to be here. Lovely to see you. Many of you, most of you, I don't have, I haven't met yet, but it's lovely to see you all here. Um, I really don't know. I'm looking forward to dialogue. I'm looking forward to have a conversation with, I think we're going to be four on the panel where I'm at. And uh, hopefully we're going to have some call-ins or people participating maybe from outside. And uh, it's on Aikido and non-duality. So who knows where we're going, where we're going. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to it. And, uh, and my intention is uh, maybe to bridge, maybe to uh, speak about how spiritual inquiry and contemplation um, is, a living, is a living activity. Like Aikido is a living thing that has to be experienced in the moment. We have to come alive with it as we communicate with each other. Um, uh, like Aikido cannot be a one man's Aikido. It has to be, uh, what you call it, participatory or something like that. Yeah, yes. Right. Anyway, that's, we take it from there and I don't know how we're gonna go, but I'm looking forward to it. Great Bjorn, thanks. Uh, Quentin. Okay. Um, well, I feel very privileged to be part of this and actually to, to know so many of you, so it's wonderful to be here. Um, the touchstone for my video is how we take it off the mat and make a better world. My uh, O-Sensei's uh, saying of the IQ is a way to reconcile the world is really what motivates me. And uh, I, I'm looking to put my message in. Great, Quentin, thank you. And if I could just ask uh, Paula to maybe mute your mic, because we're getting the we're getting all your announcements. Great. Uh, okay, uh, Joe Tambu, greetings. Hi, everyone. Uh, I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to let Miles lead me. And uh, yeah. Live on the edge. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Great. It's <a> perfect intention. <laughs> and it, should, it, should, it should give us a few surprises. And I'll I'm make sure. it up as I go along like my Aikido. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if we're not at the point where we can yeah. make it up where we go along now, then forget it. We might as well give up Aikido. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Thanks, Joe. Uh, Dirk. Thank you. Yeah. Hi everybody. I'm yeah. I'm very curious about how how much Aiki can be uh, within us, uh, in between us, uh, without touching. So I'm very interested to see all of you and to hear about all of you. And my special interest is to think about the, at my point two possible ways of practice. So one one way is to practice Aikido, and the other one is to become Aiki more and more. And I think what you started here, Miles, is uh, maybe on the other side, like how to become more Aiki, right. how to yeah, embody it, right? And this is my main interest, I would say. Oh, great. Mm. So before we go to the next person, I just want to ask, somebody is typing, which is great. I guess you're taking notes or you're <laughs> chatting with somebody. But we hear the, uh, we hear the if, you're, if you are typing, no problem, keep typing, but just mute your mic. And then we'll we'll bring you back after. Uh, okay, Judith, if you could open your mic and maybe share with us your your intention. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I'm I'm waiting. What happens? Curious about what will happen. Let's see. You know, for me, it's like living Aiki, and yeah. who knows? Yeah, yeah. I can't know in advance. That's great. Well, I'm sure whatever, whatever 
the topic that we open up. I believe that the topic in the panel that we're going to be on is the Ukenage relationship, why we need each other to evolve. And, um, you know, let's put that together and, and see what, what evolves out of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. Thank you, Judith. And um, Susan. No, I'm, I'm looking forward to the conversation and uh, I'm excited about talking to other people who come to similar things from different directions and um, see what I get to learn and hopefully share that's of value to people. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it will be like doing Aikido, you know, with other people who love it. So um, I hope, I know that the experience will be valuable for me and I hope that it is for the listeners. Yeah, beautiful. No, thank you. Linda Holiday. Hi. Well, I'm really uh, enjoying this, this sense of um, discovery and exploration and mutual conversation that I'm hearing from everyone. That's how I feel too. I'll, I'll tune in when I can uh, and listen and participate. I, Miles, I really like the, the African proverb you put on the website. Mm. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Mm. But that was really beautiful. And, um, you know, uh, so I have an interview on Sunday. And, I mean, so important in my Aikido life has been this question of how to mm, sustain a kind of living connection with the inspiration and the inspiration of O Sensei while going forward and while being in the West and, um, you know, while Aikido is evolving in different ways, it's a big question, but something I'm always thinking about. So I bet that will come up. <laughs> yeah, that's great. No, thank you, Linda. And over to Tija. Okay. Greetings, everyone. Greetings. Pleasure to be with you today. And really looking forward also to our um, our times together, and I'm, I will be on as many of the uh, of the calls and the panels uh, listening to you as as I can. Um, my intention really is to connect here with this community virtually, which is one of the new ways that we have, you know. Uh, and to uh, make whatever contribution I can make in these very, uh, I think, important and relevant conversations that we're having around the interface of, uh, of Dharma and the cultural ground out of which our practices have come and uh, also the relevancy of that and the, the continuity of those things. So I look forward to being with you and to... Um, uh, to benefiting from your wisdom and and uh, I'm actually very delighted to uh, to be here today and to see all your smiling faces and yeah. to be uh, part of this. So thank you. That's my intention. No, great. Thank you. Uh, how about Dan Misesco? Oh, well, first of all, I'd like to thank you, Miles, for putting this together mm -hmm. and also for inviting me to be part of this discussion with all these great teachers. Uh, I'm going to be on a panel with uh, Bjorn, Patrick Cassidy, uh, Dave Goldberg, uh, and I think it's all four of us. And the uh, topic is really appropriate about Aikido and duality because I think for the last- Non-duality. <laughs> my my uh, focus has been on uh, practicing Aikido with an absolute perspective. So. I hope to share that ideal and also awesome. listen to other people's perspective on this idea of how duality fits into the practice and how awesome. we rise above it. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Cool. Yeah, great. Uh, Bill Leicht. Yeah, if you can open up your, uh, un unmute your mic and... There we go. Yeah. Miles, first time I've been on a... 25 to Tommy virtual mat. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till it's a few hundred. It's even more cool. Uh, be bug-eyed by that one. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, we developed a, in uh, the Alternatives to Violence Project an Ike AVP uh, back in 1990. 
these, it's beginning to take hold in places around the world. And I hope that some of us who are concerned about Aiki uh, beyond the, the mat will be available to help folks in places where we don't have the Peace Dojo or, or somebody uh, in the group that can help them with uh, physical nonviolence uh, because there's a lot they have to learn. But it seems to have started, the fire seems to have been lit. So I'm looking forward to working with our group with uh, Rob Kent, uh, Paul, Quentin, and myself, and uh, see where we go with that. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Bill. And let's go over to David Shainer. Hi, everyone. Hi, David. Um, my plan is to wing it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you scared me on the uh, screen, the screen saver or the screen share. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to, I'm going to avoid that, but right. uh, really, I just feel really grateful. I mean, I can't believe, I feel like I've lived a blessed life and it's all been through Aikido and the teachers that I've had and the opportunities to explore applying what my teacher called key in daily life. Mm. And I've been doing that, you know, my whole life. Uh, so I would just like to share that story because it's, it's, it astounds me that I've been able to be exposed to so many things in different disciplines and none of that would be possible without the core principles of Aikido. So I would just like to share that story and encourage other people to live their dream. Uh, Aikido has allowed me to live my dream in multiple fields and I just feel blessed. So if I can share that with people, especially younger people, uh, to dedicate themselves to these principles and truly apply it in their daily life, then I'll consider that a success. No, oh, great. No, thank you, David. Uh, Charles Colton. Hello, everybody. And uh, I'd like to echo what people have said. Thank you, Miles, for mm -hmm. setting this up. This is really fun to see everybody, uh, mm -hmm. old friends and some new that I just met in the chat room. So that was great. Thank you. Um, mm -hmm. My intention for this is twofold, I guess. One is to learn from everybody. Um, it sounds like a lot of great topics and a lot of great people. And the other is, if possible, to share something that I hope would be of value to, to you and to your community. I think maybe why Miles has asked me to be part of this is because I run Aikido in the schools and bringing Aikido programs into kindergarten through 12th uh, grade programs. Um, with public, private, public schools, private schools, international schools, some micro schools, and also to professional development for teachers, um, both who are working with Aikido and also bringing Aikido principles and practices to teachers who are working in classrooms. So sometimes Aikido teachers are interested in building a kids program and wanna to network together with local area schools. And other times they want to find ways to branch out into the community. So if there's anything from my experience that would be helpful to you and your communities, I'd be happy to share that. Um, beyond that, I'm, I want to learn. <laughs> and uh, there's something that is, uh, it's, it's so tempting. I know many of you, so I, I, I want to just bow in and practice with you all. It's hard to be in cyberspace, but at the same time, I'm enjoying this, uh, this format, Miles. It's really quite interesting. So thank yeah. you and uh, thank you all. I look forward to meeting you here in the Telesummit and then uh, beyond, hopefully someplace in the real world. <laughs> yeah, great. Thank you, Charles. And let's go to Bogdan. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah? Yes. I'm gonna have to thank you too, you know, for having me here. Um, I'm in a fantastic company, you know, so, um, and I'm here because uh, I was extended this invitation because of the documentary that um, we're going to be releasing in June, very soon, Living Aikido Life. So during the panel, I may talk about that a little bit and answer questions, mostly from the perspective of uh, a filmmaker, but a storyteller. So, and, and I'm extending the question to you as well, if you have questions about that. What is the narrative of Aikido that we present to non-Aikido people? And we talk about that in, in the documentary. So you'll see you'll see it being addressed by some people in the film. So that you know probably that's what I'm gonna be talking about and you know, answering questions 
mostly about how we can present Aikido. And I think it's, it's relevant to martial arts. And I'm thinking about numbers and I'm thinking about how culture has changed and maybe more or maybe less people practice martial arts nowadays with the same spirit that maybe definitely you all did and my generation did. So I think things have changed. So I think maybe the narrative has to change too. And how do we change that? It's, it's great, great. Thank you, Bogdan. So it also just occurred to me, we have nine more people. I would like to hear your intention. But if there's anybody, because it's, it's already, we've already met for an hour, if there's anybody of those nine who have to leave, if you raise your hand, I'll call you first. Kayla, okay, so, so anybody else? Okay, so let's go ahead and go over to Kayla. Hi, Miles, and thank you. As everybody has expressed, this is just wonderful and exciting. And I'm really honored to have been invited. Hi, everybody. It's really, uh, it's exciting to see everybody. And, I feel like we're already training together, even though we're we're on virtual. We're not on the mat. We're right. we're training together, and we're talking yeah. together, and we're doing Nike now. Um, I'm excited just to be a part of this and and hear what other people are going to say about Aikido and daily life, and uh, and and share my joy uh, from training. I've, I've been training since I was a kid, and. Uh, I'm just so grateful to O Sensei and Aikido and all of you for spreading this beautiful, joyous art. Um, so I'm I'm looking forward to coming into as many of the discussions as possible and and to adding um, in the one you've invited me to. Mm. Well, thank you. Well, thank you, Kayla. That's great. Good. So I'm just going to go back down through the line. But again, if you have to leave, raise your hand so I can call you. Soon. Great. So let's go over to Robert Kent. Um, hello, everybody, and gratitude to Miles for uh, setting this up. Um, I'm looking forward to the panel talking about peacemaking. Um, my observation here, um, worth a few seconds of everyone's time, is if I was just a normal Aikido guy and I just trained on the mat and went home and had my life not particularly connected to the Aikido, I would know four other people on this call. I know 11 more of them because that's not how I've trained. Mm. I, through Aiki extensions and, and through things like this, I've had the pleasure and the privilege of being on the mat with you know, more than half of, of today's call. Mm. And it's an extraordinary privilege uh, and I'm honored to be part of this. Thank you, Thank you Robert. And how about Paul Linden? Well, nowadays I usually start workshops by saying, I'm here to shake things up. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing that I've been particularly interested in, you can tell how interested and how much energy there is for me because it shakes. But what I've been particularly interested in is the interface between experience and words as a way of formalizing Aiki so we can take it off the mat to people who want to learn it quickly. Mm. Yeah, beautiful. And that's what you're going to be bringing to us, huh? Yes, I hope. <laughs> I'll also teach you to shake if you want. <laughs> <laughs> and def definitely share a few of your Zen, your zen jokes if, uh, if you don't mind. I never tell jokes, at least not good ones anyway. <laughs> Rattle and roll with Paul. <laughs> exactly. All right, Paul, great, thank you. Uh, Sonia Sauer from Germany. Yes, hello everyone. Um, I like to chime in on the um, uh, gratitude to you, Miles, for having me here and for inviting me to this. And I know a couple of you um, personally, but many others who are on this panel, I, I know their names, I've read your books. Actually, when I first started Aikido, I was watching YouTube clips of some of you and they inspired me so much. So I feel really, really honored um, to be here tonight and for this week. And uh, Miles asked me to uh, be part of the discussion on Ukemi. And this is something I feel really, really passionate about. Mm. And I think it was Quentin, who you, you mentioned earlier how Aikido um, was developed by O-sensei to unify mankind, to bring people together and 
this is something I also feel very strong about. And I think that if we bring in what, what we do as Uke when we train with our partner, we can really bring this maybe to fruition, fruition, you say in English, or we can- Fruition. Yeah, we can, you know, develop the full potential in this. And um, I'm really looking forward to talking about this with you know, both Judith and Dirk in our discussion um, panel. I'm looking forward to hearing what all of you We'll be talking about during this week. Yeah, great. No, thank you, Sonia. And over to Rokas. Hi, Rokas. How are you? Hello. Um, good. Very happy to be here. Thank you for as well. And I'm so happy this project is happening. Uh, personally, I will be sharing my experience of blending video and YouTube. Uh, so I'll be doing my best to share. Per Discussion. Otherwise, I'm really, really excited about this and I'm looking forward to see where it goes. And yeah, I'm very grateful to be here. That's great. And, and Rokas, I think you're calling from Lithuania today? Yeah, it's snowing. Can you imagine no that? No way. No way. <laughs> I had to use to turn on the air yeah. conditioner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, life is like that. <laughs> exactly. All right, Rokas, thank you. Vince. Ben Salvatore from Aikido of Reno. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the first international teleconference thing that Miles set up. I'm happy to be here. I hope this doesn't sound too canned, my response. But I don't want to say anything that could potentially offend someone and cause an international Aikido incident. <laughs> 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 uh, I think it's going to be great. I think it's really interesting. And uh, Bogdan, did I, am I saying your name right? Bogdan? Yes, you okay. do. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, when you talked about the narrative and then you, you asked, um, I, see, I see right now what we're doing is I see it as science fiction. I see the genre as science fiction. Um, this is only the first meeting like this but maybe 10 years from now somebody will be on mars teaching aikido and we'll be doing this again there'll be people all over the world but we could have people even i hope this isn't too lofty for you guys possibly on mars the other thing i see in that in the narrative is that uh, it's kind of like that movie the seven samurai how they all came together except there's a lot of people <laughs> <laughs> and I am honored to be one of those. And also what it relates to me too is like the Magnificent Seven with Yul Brenner. I mean, they just redid it, but it kind of sucked, I thought. But I just want to say I'm honored to be part of the Magnificent, uh, how many people was it, Miles? 44. 44. The Magnificent 44. Anyway, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to do my best. I think it's going to be entertaining and also informational and yeah, it'll be, it'll be cool. So I just Great. have to remember to be on schedule and time. Okay. <laughs> All right, Vince. Thank you so much. <laughs> Never a boring moment with Vince. Okay. Fred opened his camera, but he's not on the line. And Patrick, yeah, are you still with us? Mm-hmm. All right. So if Patrick is not there, I guess we can go ahead and wrap it up. Um, so I have, I have two last things, to, uh, maybe even three last things to ask all of you. Um, these, are, these are a little bit of favors to ask. Um, there is a few things. First, um, in all of your sessions, I'm going to ask each and every teacher, um, what is your number one practice tip for taking your Aikido to the leading edge? So maybe could you say that again, Miles? I'm sorry. Yeah. What is your number one practice tip for taking Aikido to the leading edge? That's a very general question. You can whatever you, however you want to frame that. That's totally fine. I'll probably do that at the beginning of each session, um, and then uh, we'll just dive in. 
So that's something for you guys to think about. That's uh, favor number one. Favor number two, uh, we've got two events that are uh, participatory. On uh, the last Saturday, we're going to be doing a World Cafe. And the World Cafe, it's going to be led by uh, Anita Palvast and myself. And it's going to be on the question, what is the future of Aikido? If you've ever been in a World Cafe, it's a total crowdsourcing, sourcing the wisdom of the crowd by taking an interesting question. Uh, if you can join that, it'd be fantastic. Uh, it's going to be an hour and a half like everything else. And we'll, we'll see what comes out of the, out of the, you know, the, the knowledge or the wisdom of the, the, the collective intelligence. And the last thing, um, if you could please share. You know, share this, uh, share this telesummit with your, your fans, with your students, with your audience, with your community, whatever, with your mother. You know, she's got to be here. Come on. Um, share. <laughs> and, and, you know, if, you don't even have to say, hey, there's 45 teachers. Just say, hey, look, I'm going to be on this thing. I'm going to be doing a panel discussion. Come check it out. And, um, you know, direct them to the page. I've sent many of you, if not all of you, I sent some, some copy. If you need something, just let me know and I can send it again. And um, even if it's just on Facebook or friends or text message, if you don't do it, it's totally fine as well. But if you could, um, you know, we want to, we want to reach a lot of people, but we also want to reach your people, you know, bring your people together with their people and his people and her people and, you know, really start to kind of create that, uh, that greater network and, and, and source the, the intelligence of that network. Okay. What and time let me is just, the World Cafe on the 21st? Oh, I was afraid somebody was going to ask that. Let me go to my schedule. It is, all right, you're in, you're in California. So it is at 9 a.m. East Co West Coast, your time, Kayla. Pacific Daylight Time, 10 a.m. Mountain, 11 a.m. Central, 12 a.m. Uh, sorry, 12 noon, 12 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time and on in Europe it's 6 p.m. in Europe so Thank you. and again that'll be on the schedule uh, just like Linda asked I'm going to get that schedule PDF out as soon as possible uh, Tisha has to leave us thanks Tisha all the best uh, Patrick are you are you there yes I am oh great okay so we we've kind of finished off here you want to finish off with sharing your intention sure that uh, um... Again, I'm uh, just very humbled by the, the opportunity to be present with, um, with all of you. And thank you, Miles, for the, 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 the amount of energy and, and, uh, and energy you put into this project. It's extraordinary. But I think what we're looking at, I think, as a collective is we're attempting to, to kind of help identify Aikido in a more authentic way. For me, that's what I would, I'm inspired with, is uh, how to how to bring um, a direct uh, and essential experience of, of the art in, and express it to, in a way that is shareable and that people can get and people can resonate with. And, uh, and if we could do that, or if I could do that, I would feel um, that would be my intention to, mm -hmm. for, uh, for the dialogues and the panel discussions that uh, we've set up. So yeah, I'm very inspired to, to, to share and to look at to look at what comes up. I'm very uh, happy that the opportunity to, to meet you here and I'm um, looking forward to listening to what um, is discussed and what, uh, what comes out of the, the summit. So thanks again. Yeah, great. Thank you, Patrick. That's fantastic. Uh, okay, I see Joe's got to leave us. Charles got to leave us. Thanks, guys. Um, I do have one last uh, request that I forgot to, to mention. The very last session, uh, let me just go to my, my schedule again. It is not the very last session. It is after the World Cafe on Saturday, the, um, the 20th. Um, it's going to be a full session called the Teacher's Roundtable. And it'll be something very much like this. So, and that's just open for anybody who can jump in, jump in, and, and we'll do something similar like this. Okay? What, but, uh, what day is that? What day is that again, Miles? Saturday, the 20th. Saturday the 20th, got it. Yeah, I'll, I'll send you guys a mail with, with that, with <laughs> requests. Uh, Miles? Yes, Dan. Uh, yeah, uh, on here, Roe Beer. Is he one of the participants? I didn't oh, I, thank you. I thank you, I forgot Roy. <laughs> Roy's actually <laughs> my, he's my student. Roy, you wanna open your mic? 
I forget it. You know, the, the people that are closest to you that you depend upon the most, sometimes you forget them. I'm sorry. Uh, Roy, I have two assistants. Roy, uh, for this Teleka Summit, Roy Baer is one of the teachers here in the Integral Dojo, and Daniela, who's also an old Uchideshi. Uh, she's living in Holland now. She's, they're going to be conducting the technology. So um, Roy's here today. Daniela couldn't make it. Roy, would you like to share your intention? Yes, just um, so great to hear everyone so excited about the upcoming um, Tele Summit and their passion to share their um, practice and knowledge and experience with everyone and their passion. And I'm really looking forward to see how it's going to evolve and, and bring people together. Great. Yeah, cool. thank you very much, Roy. Everybody, thank you for your time. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, and I'm, Thank I'm you, looking Miles. forward to, uh, to, to, to the next 10 days. I hope, we are, I, hope I survive it. <laughs> oh, I do have one last thing to say. My wife is pregnant. She's doing about five weeks. But if something happens in the middle, <laughs> oh, gosh, <laughs> she might disappear. So <laughs> who knows? Maybe I'll call you guys to, do, to, to host We'll me. always remember when your baby was born. It's a birth in several ways, what's going on here. Yeah. All right, everybody. So Bjorn, Quentin, Dirk, Susan, Bogdan, David, Bill, Dan, Linda, Robert, Paul, Kayla, Sonia, Vince, Rokas, Fred, Patrick, Judith, and Roy. Thank you all so very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, everybody, goodbye. All right. Bye-bye.